part B of the question, of question 1. C sec May 2017 is a is really a consumer arithmetic question. What it says here is a store is promoting a new mobile phone on the two plans. You have plan A and plan B, and the plan are advertised as shown in the table below. So for plan A, you make a deposit of four hundred dollars. That means you pay down four hundred dollars monthly installments so every month at a certain time you pay $65 number of months to repay so you have 12 months so you would pay $65 um, 12 times tax on all payments you have no tax 0% on the plan B you pay down a deposit of $600 each month monthly installment is $80 so each month you pay $80 for 6 months and you get 5 you have to pay 5% tax on all in, all payments you must calculate the total cost of a phone on the plan A so let's see how that goes you have plan A you pay down $400 alright so let me work it out over here you must pay down four hundred dollars monthly installments so for monthly installments you pay sixty five dollars each month for twelve months so you do that twelve times so what's the total you have to pay as monthly installments it's going to be sixty five by twelve equal 780 so it's 780 dollars you don't pay any tax now after paying each monthly installment coming up to 780 you have to remember that you had to pay down 400 dollars so you're going to have 780 plus 400 so that's 0 and 0 0 8 and 0, 8, 7 and 4, 11. So you basically have to pay down 1,100 and you have to pay a total of $1,180 on the plan A. So that's 11.80 for plan A, all right? So that's your answer for plan A. Good. Nice. Now, the next part of the question says, determine which of the two plan, whether plan A or B, is the better deal and justify your answer. Well, you know what that means. You're going to have to calculate the payment on the plan B now. So let's see. Plan B. So remember, over here, you know, was plan A alright so this applied to this now we're going to use another set of calculation and say we do plan B over here alright let's see what will happen with plan B you pay down $600 after that you pay $80 for six months eighty dollars per month for six months that mean you're going to pay eighty dollars six time pay it on month one pay it again on month two pay it again on month three again four again for month five and again for month six the sixth month all right it's like you pay 18 january 18 February, 18 March, 80 in April, 80 in May, and 80 in June. So that is what happened. But well, instead of adding them up 86 times, you just multiply 80 by 6 and you get 480. 86 is 48. So you get a total of 480. You have to pay $480.
when you add up all your monthly installments. Now, you had paid $600 deposit. You have to remember that. So when you're calculating the total money you spend, you add up all of this. 0 plus 0 is 0. 8 plus 0 is 8. 6 plus 4 is 10. So you paid a total of $1,080. Remember now, you have to go a little further. You have to factor in that you must pay 5% tax. Now, the tax is how much? It's 5 per, remember per mean divide, cent, cent mean 100, 100 runs make a cent, Yuri, 100 cent meters make a meter and so on cent mean a hundred so it's five per cent is five per hundred five divided by a hundred multiplied by a thousand and eighty all right all right just use a calculator five over a hundred multiplied by one zero eighty how much you have I hope you got 54. $54 is the tax. That's the tax. The tax is $54. All right. So you must have the 1080 plus 54. You add that to your 1080 and you come up with 1134. So this is plan B and this one is plan A now which is the better deal the better deal is the one where you pay less so guess what now plan A is a thousand one hundred and eighty plan B is a thousand one hundred and thirty four so plan B is the better deal so plan B is the better deal here and this working here all of this working is your justification all right so that's it for now thank you very much later on